So let's figure out whether this equation here, N2 plus H2 yields NH3, is a redox reaction. And the way we do that, we use these rules here to write the oxidation number for each element, and we can tell if we have a redox reaction. Let's do it. So free elements, they have just one type of element, like Na, Fe, H2, O2. So N2, that's a free element. Oxidation number is zero. Same for H2. So we got those. Then for nitrogen, we don't really have a good rule for that, but we do know that hydrogen is going to be with a non-metal, like nitrogen, plus one. And when we have a neutral compound, like NH3, there's no plus or minus after it, in a neutral compound, all the oxidation numbers add up to zero. Three times plus one, that's plus three. So we need a negative three to have this add up to zero, and that is the oxidation number on the nitrogen. So now to see if we have redox, we look whether the oxidation numbers change. 0 to negative 3. This got smaller. This was reduced. 0 to plus 1. That got bigger. We say that was oxidized. So we have reduction, oxidation, transfer of electrons. This is a redox reaction. If you need more help with oxidation numbers or redox reactions, jump over to my website here. You'll find everything you need to do that. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.